Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. welcome back, and in today's video I do have a channel update. It's a big one with what I want to do with my channel, it's a change that I feel like will be a welcomed one. So we'll also talk about my time at Guardian Con, things that happened that led to this ultimate decision with what I want to do. A quick recap of my journey here on YouTube is I started my channel to help players. I only wanted to say a couple things and just be done with it all, but I found that players really liked my original videos and if they found them, I felt like it would help them. It turned out that people liked what I had to say, so I continued all the way up to this point. I love the game of Destiny, and even though my work takes a little bit to get out, a little bit of time, I'm very proud of it. From weapon reviews, to tip videos, to opinion videos, I love it all. So my wife and I made the decision to go even further. But first, let's recap Guardian Con, recently renamed to GCX, the Gaming Community Expo. I was in Orlando for seven days, my wife and I had a couple friends meet us in Orlando, and we had an absolute blast. Now I do have to stop and say that my wife Rachel is awesome, we were very busy during the con, she helped me out tremendously, and I'm a very lucky guy. No matter what you were doing, you would stop mid-step at Guardian Con on the floor, look at main stage to see all the money for St. Jude's coming in. The gaming community is a very special community, and sure, some toxicity comes through on the mic while in-game, but in person, it's all love and a shared passion. Lots of friends were made over the weekend for everyone there. And I always tell people, and I'm telling you right now, if you love Destiny, if you love gaming in general now with the Expo, and look at the great cause for St. Jude's, you have to go at least once, but once you go, you're probably going to want to come back. I got to catch up with other content creators, I got to meet a bunch of you guys out there, the facility at Rosen was the best one yet, I got some hands on time with Borderlands 3, and let me tell you, that game felt very polished. The shooting mechanics kind of reminded me of Battlefield a little bit, as far as visual hit markers and overall gunplay, I will be getting it 100%, and I'm probably going to cover it on the channel a little bit. It was great. I loved it. Artist Alley is one of the best parts of it all. You can get lost in that area. As I was going through Artist Alley, I saw Brian Monk's booth there, and there is some incredibly detailed work. And you might have seen this 1A Titan floating around on Twitter, and at the booth he asked, hey, which ones would you like to get? I said, I want all three of them in the biggest size that you have. And he kind of stopped. He goes, do you want me to sign them for you? And I said, of course. So we have the One-Eyed Mask Titan. We have the Void Lock. We have the Blade Barrage Hunter. Fantastic. These are going to be going up on my wall. And as you know, there's 6v6 control for Destiny. You get a Gambit coin, an exclusive in-game emblem, and if you really wanted to, you would wager that coin for a special pin. Now here's the funny part. I got to talk to Deej, Cosmo, and Dylan briefly. They were working. They had a lot going on, so I caught them in transitions. Dylan was in the Bungie area talking with players, directing flow, and I thanked him for the invite, which we'll talk about in a moment. And he asked me, hey, did you get your pin? Of course you got your pin. I said, well, we kind of formed a little team of Cami Cakes, Fallout, me, a friend of mine, Jacob, Sides, and Drewski. His eyes lit up and said, if you ever do that again, you're banned. That's so mean. And he was just laughing the whole time. And when we form that team, the very first match that you do is for the Gambit coin. Everyone gets the coin from both sides. It's kind of a fun match. So Cammy came to the group and said, look guys, how funny would it be if we looked super serious, loud call outs to a point where everyone just kind of looked at us and was wondering why we were so intense. So that's exactly what we did. Like he's at B rotate, like loud MLG style call outs. I looked up at one point and everyone there was laughing, smiling and engaged including the other team that we were playing against. So we won the match, and if you didn't know any better, it was like we all won a million dollars. We all got in a circle screaming, jumping up and down. It was so funny. It was so great. Then, of course, we politely went over and shook the opposing team's hand. It was great. Now, later, we did the match for the pin, and we didn't do any of that. We were calm, easy callouts. We ended up getting the win, and we got the pin. It was a very, very fun experience. Now, on the second day, I was invited to the bungee booth with Cami Cakes to do a meet and greet, and I can't tell you guys how thankful I am for that. The stories that players told me that you told me and how in some way shape or form I helped you out. I got stopped a good amount and I loved talking with each and every one of you and with the meet and greet we were slotted for one hour. And after that hour we still had a line, we got kicked out so we gathered everyone, they followed us out to the arcade and we continued for another 45 minutes to an hour. Now I'm pretty low key with everything that I do, I do the best that I can with my content and I enjoy what I do but to see and hear some of the things that were said to me, it almost made me tear up a little bit, I mean legitimately. There's some things that I won't share publicly, but some things that were said to me by some of you guys was just unreal. And for me, I've never been invited to anything like this. I've never been to Bungie. So to get that invite at the Bungie booth for a meet and greet meant a lot because I never, ever look for it. And to be a part of it all was really, really amazing. And even during the signing, Cammy looked over at me and said, hey, cool guy, we did it. Not bad for a couple of Xbox guys doing content creation. At night on the second day, Fallout and I went to a LAN party. We met a great group of people, we formed friendships, had great conversations. The whole experience was so fun. There were six monitors set up, we were doing you know, stack sixes in quick play, we were doing 3v3 customs, we were doing rumble. It reminded me of the old Halo days. 
And of course we were using online, but maybe one day hopefully they can add a LAN aspect to Destiny 2. So all in all, an unforgettable week in Orlando, and throughout this week when I was talking with Fallout, Drewski, Luminosity, Ebontis, Cami, Sides, countless other people, there was what I would like to call the quote, good type of peer pressure. With Shadowkeep and Cross Save coming, that opens the door for content creation, and you have to think in my mind. With everything ahead, the channel that I run here, what would it be like if I went all in? So I made the decision with my wife to do just that. And let's kind of, again, briefly bring up my YouTube journey here. I made videos using my Xbox, using a Turtle Beach microphone. Just with that setup, I was picked up by Planet Destiny, and that made me feel like I could do this whole YouTube thing. So I had an old, like, i3 core computer. I, I purchased a Hapog capture card. Now that PC literally took eight hours to render an eight minute video. I would go to bed, wake up, and just hope that the CPU didn't crash. But we went through all that time, I ended up doing well and growing, and it ultimately pushed me to the point that I am right now. I bought a new computer a couple years ago, I bought an Elgato. So it's all been in stages. And to be completely honest with you, and it's kind of how I speak with all of you, it's a message I try to send that you can do it. Maybe it's a Crucible tip video, a weapon that you aren't comfortable with. I tell you, and I'm 100% serious, and I try to pass along that you can do it, no matter how hard. All of you have given me that feeling. So we're about to go a little step higher to accomplish some goals. I've been working with Abontis, which by the way, amazing human and content creator, his link's down below. He's been working with me on putting together a PC build. It's going to be highlighted by a Ryzen 9 3900X. The current PC that I have can't run Destiny. I have found though over the past year with my creation process, it doesn't do what I need it to do. Programs crash, longer render times, it's non-responsive. It takes me a lot of time to get content out, so I can have all the ideas that I want. I can do so many different things, but I'm kind of limited with the computer that I have. So here's the goal and the changes that are going to be coming to the channel. I am committing to it because I want to. That's the next step. I'm going to be building a new PC. That PC is going to be set up for fast content creation to be able to play Destiny 2 on PC. And with all this, like I'm, I'm getting a new monitor. I'm getting a new cap card, desk, splitters, the full deal. The room that I'm in right now is going to be changing a lot. A lot of furniture is going to be moved around. All of it is going to be set up for better content creation. And with all this, I will also be streaming. And I want to really, really bad, but the issue is the computer that I have, it drops frames. So I'm on console, 30 frames per second. If it drops below 30, it's really uneasy on the eyes. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for you guys, the viewers. The system that I have simply can't handle it. I've mapped out the first 100 days, and I plan to stream three days a week at least starting off. And I plan to stream because I can now. I will be able to. I plan to have content up four to five times a week. I have different series that I have lined up. The in-depth reviews are going to be staying, but I have fun new series ideas that will be coming to the channel. Shadowkeep is perfect for all this, and I want to be clear, I'm still going to be maining Xbox, but I can now intelligently talk about PC in my reviews. I can show PC and console gameplay and differences on the same item. And with the PC, content creation and how fluid I can produce it comes first, and as the big bonus, I'm now going to be on Destiny 2 PC. And I've never even used a mouse and keyboard ever to play anything, so that should be a fun ride to learn. I've spoken with Fallout and other content creators, and with Fallout, I do plan to do streams with him, possibly even comp streams on the weekend. And on that PS4 side, there's a lot of people I would like to play with if they'll have me. And on the PC side, I get to experience Destiny at 60 plus frames. I get to play with Cami again, and in early Destiny 1 on Xbox, I played with Cami like every day for a year straight, and then along came Drewski. I can get back to playing with them every now and then from time to time. And as someone who genuinely loves Destiny, the game itself, not even talking about content creation, I mean, I'm just like a lot of you, I love the game. I'm gonna be able to play with some people that I've always wanted to play with. I mean, over the four plus years that we've been doing this Destiny thing, right? So all of this is being set in motion currently. So for the next couple weeks, content will be spotty, unfortunately, but it's gonna be for the greater good. There's a lot that work goes into it, but I fully expect to hit the floor running and I'm stoked. I got this push from my friends at Guardian Con, and overall, I look at the community we have here together on this channel, all of it makes sense. Because again, I'm currently limited with what I can do. So we're going to be getting the parts, we're going to build the PC, and I've never done that before, I'm stoked to do that. We're going to work out a routine and get to what my end goal is. As it sits currently, I get out videos when I can, because a lot of the times I have CPU issues. And now, with render times and with what I'll be able to do, I can come up with an idea and just get it out there as fast as possible. And I, like, I'm stoked for that, I've never had that. So let's talk about it in the comments section. Videos will be made leading up to our end goal that we went over in this video, but on my end, I do have a lot to get in line to get this plan in full swing. And hopefully, from the time this video comes out, it's going to be about two weeks. We might be a little bit less, we might be a little bit over. But until then, I would like to thank you guys so much for your support, your continued support, and it means a lot to me. And I would like to thank you in advance for your patience until we get to this point. 
So again, thank you. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.